יוד זין, והדוגמה מזה יובן למיילה, והבייז עניינים. And the likeness for this we can understand above in the two concepts. מה שאור אין סוף הוא למיילה מיילה עד אין קץ. This, that the infinite light is above on high without end. ולמטה מטה עד אין תכלס. And below all the way without end. דמש למטה מטה עד אין תכלס. That this, that is all the way below without end. האור שבבחינס שייכוס אל העולמוס, that's the kind of light that has connection to the world. הוא בכללוס או הוא בחינס גילוי בעצמוסו, and in general it's a concept of revelation within himself. והנה איסא בפרקי דרבי אליעזר, that it's brought in פרקי דרבי אליעזר, עד שלא נברא העולם, היה הוא ושמו בלבד. It was him that before the world was created, it was him and his name alone. And the Rebbe says on the bottom, יישא בפרקי דרבי אליעזר, פרק ג', יש שם גרסאוס אחרוס, and there are different גרסאוס in this, הוא ושמו בלבד, and so forth. אבל דיוק גרסא זו דווקא, but to the scrutiny in this particular גרסא, מבואר בהקדמס שלה בתחילסה, that's how it's explained in the שלה, in the beginning, according to this גרסא, וראה גם כן, תיקון איזורק, תיקון יוטס, ממבייז. Back in the mimer, the hu kai al etzim ha'or, that the word hu refers to the essence of the light. Ve'omer al zeh hu bechinas nistar ve'halem, and it says about this hu that the essence of the light is in the level of hu. Uh, of uh, without ex- explaining who it is, it just says him. Bechinas nistar ve'halem, the concept of hidden. And concealed, the etzim ha'or hu nelam v'nistar that the essence of the light is hidden and concealed. V'hainu she'enu begeder gilui gam batzmuso that is that it is it is not in a state of revelation even within himself. V'shmo kayal ha'gilui v'spashtu sa'or and his name in the statement hu v'shmo bilvad refers to the expression of the light, the expansion of the light. וידועד בשמו הרי יש בו בייז מדרגוס, and it's known that in the concept of his name, there's two levels, שמוס ושם. דה שמוס קייל בלשון רבים ושם לשון יחיד. That you have names in the plural and name in the singular. דה שמוס לשון רבים הם העשר ספירוס הגנוזוס במייצילון. That names in the plural that refers to the ten spheros that are hidden within the emanator. And that is that which he measured in potential, all that will, would be in actual. Before they're created, they're, they're measured to what degree they'll be, in, in, and what measure they'll be created. V'shem hulashon yachid. And name is in the singular. That's the concept of that there's no number to the spheros. Kiviyochel infinite spheros. Ubeiz bechinos eluhem giloi v'atz muso yizbarech. And these two concepts are in a state of revelation within himself. May be blessed. Ubali yedi giloi gam be'olomos bebechinas or p'nimi ubechinas or makif. And they come in a, into a revealed state also in worlds. In a state of inner light and an, and an encompassing light, shizeu ashorish de beis madregos memale kol almin v'soviv kol almin that these are the source, the, the root of the two levels of that which fills all the worlds and and encompasses all the worlds. The the le- level as it is within number and the level beyond number. Aval hu kayal etzim haor. But the, but so that's in in the shame uh, when it, we talk about who vishmo bilvad so that's the shmo but when when we talk about who aval who kail etzim haor that refers to the essence of the light sheinu begedered yuliveham shachar klal beolamos that's not in the boundary of revelation and drawing down at all in the worlds adaraba shumis alim umis kalel beatz muso exactly the opposite. It gets hidden and included within his essence. Ubechidno madrega zu hini hani kreis b'shem utzar. 
And it's this level and concept that's called in the, in the name of the treasure house, the Kishem Shaha Otsar Hari Hu Sasum Venelam Ein Kol that just like the treasure house is of the king is sealed and hidden from all, all eyes that, that want to see it. Kain Bechina Sa'atzmu So to the concept of the essence Hari Sasum Venelam is hidden and concealed, and no thought can grasp him at all. And it's the concept of the essence may be blessed that uh, no eye has seen, and uh, that he brings from the pasuk. And now this revelation. And drawing down of the supernal storehouse of treasures, Hurak Bishfil Nitzuach Hamil Chama is only in order to win the battle, the Natsech is Aminagid to conquer the enemy, who Kanal Beham Mashal, and like we brought before the allegory, the Bishfil Nitzuach Hamil Chama, Poschim Esa Otro, Sachsumim, Vaksumim, Dor Dor, that in order to conquer the battle, the, are open the treasure houses that are sealed and hidden. From generation to generation, Asher Dugma Mizeh Yuvan Lamayla, that the likeness of this you can understand above. Dichsiv Motzi Ruach Motz Rosav, that the pasuk says that he brings out a wind from his treasure houses. Shehika Bechorei Mitzrayim, that he hit the firstborn of Mitzrayim. The Bishvil Lahakos Bechorei Mitzrayim, that in order to hit the firstborn of Mitzrayim, the Mitzrayim Heim Hamitzarim Vigvulim, that Mitzrayim refers to the boundaries. And the confinements, ubichore mitzrayim him tokef veotzim aklipa, and the firstborn of mitzrayim that refers to the strength and um, um, awesomeness of the klipa, ubishvilze. And in order to conquer this, mutziruach meotzrosav, he brings out a wind from his treasure houses. Veisa b'tikun ezor tikun samertes. Ruach Hashem da'avir kadma, and it's brought in in Tikunim in the Tikun sixty nine that it says the uh, spirit of Hashem. That's the supernal or the first the first air, and the Rebbe says on the bottom. Tikun samech tes daf kuf zamin amud alef, and avir kadma. The Rebbe says on the bottom. The first air, re'e pardes, shor alef, perechzain, perechzain, ube erchea kinoim be ercho, more or maraches alef, oskuf nun gemel. And back in the Mimer, the Hinex Eve, now it's written. So the, the point is, is that the Tikunizar says that this refers to a high spiritual level that he, he revealed in order to um, conquer. The Bichore Mitzrayim, the Inexiv Kiga Oga'a. Now we have a similar idea by the splitting of the sea, where Hashem battled the, the, Mitz, the Mitzrayim, and it says that Hashem is exalted upon exalted. Vitirgam is Gael Gavasanai, and the translation for this is in Aramaic. He's ex- uh, haughty upon the haughty ones, v'yidua de ga'oga ahu p'nimi sa'keser, and it's known that ex- ex- haughty upon haughty is the inner concept of the crown, the shor shor b'chinas p'nimi sva'atzmis ein sof v'gaivasa delay, that its root is the concept of the inner essence of the of the infinite and his um, haughtiness, his exaltedness. So the Rebbe says on the bottom, v'yidua the go'o, and, and it's known that uh, exalted, or haughty, refers to Pnimi Sakeser, Re'eh Bechol Zetura, or Parshas Peshalach, Dibur HaMaskil Az Yashi Perek Gimel, Sham Suf, Dibur HaMaskil Ashira LaAvaya, Tor HaSchaim, Dibur HaMaskil Ashira LaAvaya, Reish Lamezayin Aleph, Reish Nun Gimel Aleph, Ve'elech Ve'od. So look in those places, in, in Torah or in Tor HaSchaim. Sus Vodamavayam 
So uh, that's in order to con so that's in order to conquer the enemy. You bring out from the storehouse, from the gaoga, and then um, to um, push to to throw the horse and his rider into the sea. The shorish anetzach who bepnimi sakeser kanal that the, so, the root of Netzach, of conquering, is in the inner concept of the crown, like we said. So um, what we referred to b before to in the Tzivo Savaya, that um, we're called the army of Hashem, and the Shem Tzvos is in Netzach. When, when, he, when Hashem does battle, it's a concept of Netzach that it reaches into the Pnimi Sakeser, and this is, a, is an idea of conquering, of... Um, just the kedusha of overcoming the klipa through lamay lamina seichel, and the Rebbe says on the bottom, uvegayvasei ramavayam that it's his exaltedness that he throws these the horses into the sea, and their rider hashaychus mivueras b'mekomus u'mesumanim v'ha'arak odemus that the connection between the concept of throwing the sea in, the, of the horse into the sea. And his exaltedness, specifically, and the Rama, is, is that's all the uh, connected concepts that are brought in those memoriam that the Rebbe brings down. Ukenal Baham Mashal, and um, back in the Mimer at the end here, he's, he says, and like we said before in the allegory, the Midasan, and it's Netzach Netua, Umushrash Be'etzema Nefesh. That the at attribute of netzach of conquering is um, is planted and rooted in the essence of the soul. That's beyond the revealed abilities of the soul. It's in the etzim nefesh.